and welcome to this Columbia College Library tutorial video on how to use Digital Theater Plus. This video should help you learn some tips and tricks on how to navigate Digital Theater Plus in order to find streaming video that includes uh, recordings of plays and productions as well as interviews with practitioners in the theatrical arts and other helpful videos related to theater. So the first step is getting there. I'm on the homepage right now, but if you're not, the easiest way to get there is from the Columbia College Chicago Library homepage. That's just library.colum.edu. The quick links bar down here is going to be your friend. If we go over to the databases link, we can click on that and it'll get us a list of all the databases from A to Z the college subscribes to. Clicking on D right here is going to get us one step closer to Digital Theater Plus. Clicking on that will get us in. As long as we're logged into our Columbia account, that'll route us through the proxy and get us into DT Plus, where we will have access to all of the beautiful, beautiful streaming video that we want to find. Now the search bar right up top here does beckon, but before I do a search, I'd like to talk a little bit about how to browse Digital Theater Plus. It's organized loosely into a few categories. We open up on this Plays and Productions page, tab right here, but we also have practice and practitioners or theory and criticism. If I click on practice and practitioners, that's going to be the section that gives us access to interviews with uh, people in the theatrical arts, whereas the plays and productions, as you might guess, gives us plays and productions, the recordings and the texts thereof. If I just scroll down, it does recommend a few things recently added, just like you'd find, you know, searching YouTube or something like that. And this can be really helpful, but sometimes not as helpful as you'd like. So if we go down this bottom box, each section, including the plays and productions of theory and criticism as well, will have one of these at the bottom that allows us to filter. So we can filter um, by role, if we want to get stuff that's about actors, about arch managers, educators, musicians, producers, we can filter that. Or let's say we're looking specifically for interviews. Once we click that, that'll reroute us back up to the top of practice practitioners and we can find only interviews. If we want to narrow that further, back down to the box is our friend all the way at the bottom. And let's say that we want interviews with choreographers. Once we've got those two boxes checked, now we have got the 12 interviews that Digital Theater Plus has specifically with choreographers. And that can be done for any of the subsections. But let's actually run a search. Let's say we're looking for uh, Macbeth. I want to find a production of Macbeth. Even though we're in the Practice and Practitioners tab, that's going to search the whole site, so everything Digital Theater has to offer. And we can see we get 62 results of a variety of things, including reviews, interviews, and productions. If I want to find just productions, again, all the way at the bottom, the filter box is our friend. It looks a little bit different now. But the easiest way, instead of mucking about with all these other boxes, because as we saw before, it's always going to direct us back up to the top, which takes a lot of time, resource type is going to be what we want. That way we can find, again, interviews, guides, productions, workshops, productions are what we're looking for. Clicking that, searching the whole site is going to narrow down only to productions, and we have 11 of them. Let's say I want the Royal Shakespeare Company's production of Macbeth. Right at the top here, if I click that, we are opened up into there. Scrolling down, we can click to watch the entire play. But a really helpful thing that DT Plus does is uh, splits it up by act, as well as by key scene or key speech. And if you just would like an image, we've got a gallery here as well. Also have access to reviews for this production. And perhaps most useful of all, we have other productions of the same play. If we want, for example, this production of Macbeth from Terra Arts, we could click on that because it knows that it should be grouped with the other Macbeths. 
similarly interviews with practice and practitioners that are related to this production, we can find right here, which is a fantastic way to browse around. Hopefully that has been helpful. If you do have any questions, please remember that at all times, you can reach out to a librarian via the live chat up here or the email. And that's going to be a tab on every page of the Columbia Library, whether it's the data page or the home page right here. Please reach out. We are more than happy to help and uh, have fun searching and watching all those videos on Digital Theater Plus.